Hello and welcome back to the series JavaScript for Testers. I'm Bushra and today we'll be learning about immediately invoke function expressions or iffy as they are commonly called. So these functions get executed as soon as they are created. You don't need to explicitly invoke them. Let's head to Visual Studio Code to learn about them. The syntax is really simple. So we have a function wrapped in parenthesis, making it a function expression. And then we have a pair of parentheses at the end to invoke this function. And hence the name immediately invoked function expression. We could also use arrow function syntax here. Let's have a console.log here. Now let's run this. And sure enough, we have it executed without being invoked explicitly. So basically, three things happen here. A function instance is created, function is executed, and finally, function created is discarded. So we could also have a named function here. This is useful for recursion when you want the function to call itself. But named functions can't be invoked again after their execution. So if we have this, it would give an error saying print is not defined. Now you might also come across ifs that start with semicolon. Let's see why they are needed. Nothing fancy here. Let's just run this. So it failed and it says Bushra is not a function. Well, we didn't intend it to be a function. So what's happening here is that because we did not put semicolon at the end of the line here, JavaScript thinks that this is a continuation from here to here, which is a problem. And hence to avoid such scenarios, semicolon is prepended to ifs. If we run this again, all good this time. So what benefits do ifs provide? Well, the major benefit they provide is that they avoid global scope from getting polluted. The variables and functions enclosed within an ify expression have their scope limited to that ify. These variables and functions are not added to global scope. Also, once if he has finished execution, the function and variables are available for garbage collection, hence freeing the browser memory. So that's another benefit of using ify. I hope you enjoyed learning about ify. 